In ancient times, three women lived in one mountain village. So they somehow went for water, stood at the well, drew water, and talked. Near the well, in the shade of a tree, an old woman sat down to rest. She was revered in the village as a skilled healer and a wise woman. People came to her for advice, even from neighboring villages. She involuntarily overheard the conversation of the peasant women. Women at the well continued to praise their sons, and noticing the interest of the healer, they began to speak louder, hoping to impress the wise old woman not suspecting how unexpected her reaction would be. The first one said, filling the bucket with water, My son is so fast and agile that no one can compare with him. There's no tree he can't climb. And my son, exclaimed the second woman, sings like a nightingale. His voice is so sonorous, no one in the world can boast of such a wonderful voice. The third woman listened to them in silence, but they began to ask her, And what do you say about your son? Doesn't he have any special talents? They laughed. The third woman was confused and answered, I don't know if I can say anything special about my child. He is a good boy, kind and sympathetic, like many other children, but he does not differ in anything special. He cannot sing or dance. The women filled up their buckets with water, put their burdens on their shoulders, and headed home. The wise old healer followed them. The buckets were heavy, and the women were bent under the yoke of the belts pressing on their backs. So they decided to take a break. They set up full buckets by the road and sat down on the green grass to take a breath and gather their strength. Three guys ran up to them. One immediately began to entertain tired women. He did some dizzy flips and then he walked on his arms, kicking in the air. The women clapped their hands in delight. How skillful he is, they exclaimed. The second boy sang a song. His voice was really like a nightingale's. The women excitedly said, What an angelic voice! The third boy silently approached his mother. He took the buckets of water from her, hung the straps around his shoulders, and carried the weight home. Mother went beside him. Enthusiastic exclamations did not follow them. Her son did not show any amazing tricks and did not entertain tired women in any way. The remaining peasant women continued to amuse themselves with their sons. Heavy buckets of water stood by the roadside. Finally, having rested, they took up the straps. And then they noticed an old wise healer who was standing at a distance leaning on a stick and watching them. Wanting to hear the admiration of their sons, the women shouted to her, What do you say about our sons? About sons? The healer asked in surprise. But I saw only one son here. There he is. And she pointed the finger at the woman and her son, who were going away. People get recognition for the results of their work.